Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be making you köfte, which is a Turkish meatball my grandmother used to make me all the time. Loved it. All of my cousins loved it. And it's something I'm going to be showing you my version of it today. And we're going to be using some North Range Craft Butcher's Bison, which I've got right here. Uh, bison that is from Southern Alberta. And North Range Craft Butcher's uses a lot of smaller uh, producers, farmers throughout Alberta. To, uh, to provide to hotels, restaurants, and to you. You can order it straight online. And so what I have here today is a very lean bison. And for that, I'm going to add some fat to it. And the way that one of my aunts would do it was she would put some extra virgin olive oil and she would put that in there. And then that would add a little bit more of a fat content because as we know, beef has a lot more fat than bison does, which is lean, which is great. Next thing I'm going to add is garlic powder. You can add fresh garlic as, as well, but I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. So at home you can do this really quick and fast. Uh, flat leaf parsley or Italian parsley as they call it. I like putting that in there. Adds a nice little flavor. Uh, some paprika or roasted red pepper. Again, you could use a paste. In Turkey they have a red pepper paste. You can add that in there as well. I've got some salt and pepper and we're going to add that for seasoning. And Onion powder. Again, you could use fresh onions. You can grate that and that's usually what my grandmother would do. But again, for the purpose of this video and for you at home to be able to make this quick and fast, this is the way I wanted to do this. So let's get going here. I'm going to take a bowl here, which basically you can see has a lid on it there. Because what I like to do is I like to put it all in and then mix it all up and then put it into the fridge. So I'm going to put my meat in there right there. We're going to take our olive oil and we're going to pour that all in there. There we go. And as I move along, I'm going to add the parsley. The parsley right there. And here's my garlic powder. Next, we have our red pepper powder or paprika. You can use a smoked paprika as well. That's usually kind of nice. Uh, and I have found some smoked paprika that comes from Spain, which tastes really good. Uh, we've got our onion powder. I'm going to put that in there too. Here we are. And the last thing that I have is my salt and pepper. Now, I'm not putting too much salt in there because I like to season, season it when I'm doing mixing this all up. But at the same time, I like to season it as I put it onto the grill as well or in the pan or on the barbecue, which you can do anything you like with this. So now I have this and we're going to put our hands, get our hands dirty. Of course, my hands are clean. I've washed them already. And so we're going to be going like this and mixing that all up. And as you can see, probably there, see that, see that, there we go. It's mixing up really nicely. I like to really work it in, get all of that stuff in there. And again, really everything that you put in there, it's just, you know, like a teaspoon or two of it. It's not like a ton of stuff, but you can adjust the flavors. You can play with this and, you know, decide at home, oh, you know what? That tasted a little bit, I, I want a little less of this or that in there. And then you can add other, other seasonings to it as well. Um, these are the ones I've selected. Uh, my grandmother used to make it pretty similar to this, but again, like I said, she used to use fresh onion that she would uh, grate first. So I'm going to mix this all up nicely. That looks good. So that kind of gives you an idea. We've got that there. Boom. Just so you can see. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this rest for a little bit and then I'm going to come, I'm going to put it in the fridge. Uh, for maybe a half an hour, just let it relax and then I'll come back and we'll make the patties. Okay. So we've left this sit in the fridge for about a half an hour and we're going to basically now, uh, open her up and we're going to make our patties. So what I like to do is I like to take essentially just a little handful. You can see how that is right there. Right. And I just like to put them upon my hand and shape it like an egg. Usually you see these in Turkey, they, they're shaped like eggs. So you can either make them round and have them like that, or you can take them and you can put your little fingers and dent them, and make them a little flatter. They'll cook a little faster this way. I like to have them like there. There you go. 
See, like that. Boom. So what we'll do is we'll make a bunch of these and roll it up. Boom, 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 boom. You can see I've got a whole bunch of little patties and these will be cooked on the grill or in a pan. And then you can serve this with some bread, some pita bread, um, maybe some yogurt on the side, have some French fries or potatoes in the oven, whatever you like, uh, some rice. So there's a variety of things you can do. But this is really fast. This wasn't hard to make. Also very healthy for you because it's, again, made out of bison. So we've got very lean meat and it's good for you, good protein. And so we'll cook that up later and show you the final results. And so I'm gonna do a couple of them on the pan, just to kind of show you what it's all about. Um, I've got a pan right over here. It's nice and warm, hot on there. And these already have some olive oil in them. So really, you don't really need to put a lot of oil or anything in the pan. Some people like to fry them up in the oil. You don't need to do that. You just need a nice hot pan and we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna put one and two so you guys have a better idea of what that does. I'm just gonna let it sit there and we're gonna let it cook. It's not gonna take too long because we flatten these out. Again, it's lean meat, so you don't wanna overcook it either. Otherwise, you might end up with some rubbery meat and that's not what you want. And you can see that they're already grilling up really nice. I'm gonna flip them over. Again, these do not take a lot of time to cook. Just to cut it in the middle, just to take a look. And you can see, still kind of moist in there, not overdone. And one of the things you can do is you can put yogurt, you can put garlic in your yogurt if you like and have it that way. Um, I'm just gonna have it plain. I'm gonna dip it in there a little bit. Mmm, that is so good. Anyways, oh, what we can also do is put a little bit of, put a little chili pepper too. Mm. This is from, uh, this is some chili pepper from uh, Southern Turkey. It's nice and spicy, but it's, it also goes really well. See that, dip that. Mmm. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna leave any for the family. It's gonna, it's gonna go down too fast. But anyways, there you go, folks. That's the Turkish köfte, really nice to do with bison. And so if you get a chance, go to uh, North Range Craft Butchers and check out their selection of meats. They deliver it straight to your home and uh, packaged up really nicely in boxes and so on. And they're wrapped and they're vacuum sealed and so on, so ready, ready to go. Uh, anyways, thanks for joining me here on Alberta Foodie, and I hope to see you again for one of my next episodes. Take care, and enjoy your food and wine.